the Requester Inquiry Skill Chatbot, assists e-procurement users when searching for the status of a requisition or purchase order based on the item information. The chatbot uses the Oracle Digital Assistant platform. Select the Requester Bot tile to begin an interaction to find the status of a requisition created for a pair of women's gloves. Use the message box to enter search text. As you proceed, you may need to be more specific by entering a partial or complete item description or an item ID. In this example, the bot displays results that match the search text. Use the right arrow to display more results if needed. Select an item to view all requisitions that include that item. A list of requisitions that include the item is displayed. The More Request button appears if there are more than five requisitions for that item. Scroll through the list until you see the desired requisition. Select the More Details link to view the requisition details. The bot displays the details of the selected requisition. The status of the requisition is PO created, and two purchase order schedules have been created in the approved status. This completes our demonstration of the Use Chatbot for Requester Inquiries feature. PeopleSoft FSCM Image 34 continues to build on two PeopleTools features delivered in PeopleTools 857, configuring drop zones and personalizing grids for selected FSCM fluid pages. Drop zones enable you to add editable or display-only transaction fields to existing PeopleSoft fluid pages, eliminating the need to customize delivered objects. Use the Configure Drop Zones page and search for the component ID. FSCM Application Fundamentals documentation lists the enabled components for drop zones. All page IDs that are drop zone enabled for that component are listed. For fluid grids, use the Download to Excel All button to load grid data to an Excel spreadsheet. Use the Find All button to search for data in any available grid column. Use the Sort All button to sort on column headers. This completes the FSCM uptake of PeopleTools 857 Fluid Features, Drop Zones and Grids description. The Supplier Evaluation Feature Enhancement allows evaluation owners to share evaluation results with evaluation reviewers. The Send for Review option is available on the Manage and Post Results page for the released and posted evaluations. For released evaluations, this option is available only if the evaluation score is not adjusted and all evaluation questions have at least one scored response. For posted evaluations, the Send for Review option allows you to view the supplier evaluation results even if you don't have access to the scorecarding analytics or the Manage Evaluations components. Send evaluation results to multiple reviewers at the same time. The email notification contains a link to the View Evaluations Details page. If you don't have access to view the evaluation details, an authorization error is displayed when selecting the link. You must be an evaluation reviewer or have another role with permission EPSC 7000 to access the View Evaluation Details page. This completes the Reviewing Supplier Evaluation Results feature description. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances the time entry feature to use the Fluid User Interface. Expense users can use the Fluid Time Entry User Interface to submit project and personal time. Use the Time Entry page to add, modify, or view project hours and personal hours for a time report. By default, the Time Entry page displays the current time period. Use the left or right arrow buttons to switch to different time periods. Add projects and personal time codes using the Project Personal Time field. To add a new row, select the plus button. Use the View Entry icon to select recent projects. You can also remove one or more rows using the Update Selected Rows button, copy from a previous timesheet with the Copy button, 
View previously entered timesheets using the View History button and send your time entry for approval using the Submit button. PeopleSoft Fluid Pages are designed for all types of devices. This is an example of how the Employee Self-Service page appears on a smartphone. When you access time entry pages on your cell phone, the system detects the device you're using and renders the pages appropriately. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Time Reports feature. With PeopleSoft Image 34, Asset Management delivers fluid approvals for Mass Transaction Manager using the Enterprise Component Fluid Approvals Framework. The Asset Mass Transaction Approval Header Detail page allows you to view Asset Mass Transaction, Interface Line Summary, and Line Detail information such as Originator Name, Transaction Type, and Affected Interface Table. You can also approve or deny a mass transaction from this page. Select a row in the Line Details grid to access the Approval Line Detail page. Use this page to view asset and interface line details, such as asset ID, asset type, interface ID, and total cost. This completes the fluid approvals for Mass Transaction Manager feature description. The Projected Balance feature checks the effect of a particular journal line against the relevant ledger balance. Previously, you could see the projected balance for only one journal line at a time for the same chart field combination. Projected Balance now displays all journal lines having the same chart field combination and shows the impact to the ledger balance. Projected Balance is calculated based on the current balance and the amount entered in the journal lines. This completes the Posting Projected Balances feature description. In Image 34, PeopleSoft enhances the Modify End Dates page to include project team end dates, providing a more comprehensive process to update end dates associated with a project. This completes the Modify Project Team End Dates feature description. The Import Data via Spreadsheet component allows you to enter asset transaction data offline using a spreadsheet application and then import the transaction data into Asset Management tables. With PeopleSoft Image 34, Asset Management allows you to delete outdated or unused spreadsheet import templates. Click the new Delete Template button to delete the spreadsheet template and corresponding template CSV file from the file repository system. This completes the Delete Obsolete Spreadsheet Import Templates feature description. Additional features also added for FSCM Update Image 34 include Extend Financial Gateway Security Use the Requisition Loader to replenish PAR locations Support REST APIs for Adobe Signatures and Display Commitment Control Dates on Award Profiles We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.